This is kind of an offshoot of our ball handling. And we do this with our front court players, our forwards, and our guards. Call it around the cone or around the chair. And once again, we have a series to work ball handling and finishing. Arch, do you have all of them here? You can do this a lot of different ways. Generally, though, the player, and again, players, we want to do this with three or four. Today, we only have Kevin. We're going to start with head under the rim, and we're going to start with three dribbles. Three hard dribbles. Let's go left-handed today, okay? And we can go right or left. Today, we'll go left. Same thing with the chair. Sometimes it can be in the wing area. You could even put it in the corner. Today, we have it at the elbow, and we have it about 30 feet from the basket. So we take three hard dribbles, and now we're going to run with our dribble. Let's just demonstrate first, Kev. So he's running with his dribble, his head's up, and as he gets around the chair, he's going to slow down, he's going to stay low, and he's going to turn. When he turns, it's game-like, it's full speed, and the first finish is what we call power finish. It's a way of getting a three-point play, it's a way of finishing against a bigger player or a help defender, kind of put him under the basket and get the and one, all right? Everything we do today, we'll do in twos, right? Here it is. Go through it now. Come on, work, 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 work. Good. Good, good, Kev. Good. Put him in jail. Great job. Good. Take your time. Go two and you have a break. We'll go two in a row and you have a break. Ball out ahead. Run with your dribble. Run, run. Good. Great job. Good. 